Hey barbecue family, today we're talking about the Slow and Sear Low Profile Edition. This version of the Slow and Sear works specifically with the Weber Summit Kamado, which is a 22 inch smoker. And I know what you're probably thinking. The Weber Summit Kamado is already a great, efficient cooker, holds temperatures extremely well. It's extremely easy to dial in the temperature that you want. Knowing all of this, why do you need an accessory like the slow and sear in my opinion the slow and sear is not a must-have accessory if you don't get one you don't add one to your summit kamado you will still be just fine but the slow and sear makes a fantastic smoker even more fantastic the main things that i love about the slow and sear accessory is that it makes it super easy to set up your smoker for two zone cooking. Your coals are going to be over here on the, on this side. You have a water reservoir. You can fill it with water if you'd like. You've got your heat source over on one side and then you place your protein over on the opposite side. That's a real simple two zone cooking setup. And again, your, your coals are gonna be nice and contained in this compartment over here. Adding water to the reservoir helps to stabilize temperatures, which helps facilitate low and slow cooking. The flip side is that if you wanted to do some grilling, don't use the water. You have your heat over here on this side and you can put your protein directly over the heat source. Get a nice sear on that steak. My favorite way to use it is for low and slow cooking. The other main thing that I love about the slow and sear is that it basically helps turn your Weber Summit Kamado into a top-down cooker like an offset smoker. Picture your protein over on this side, heat source over here, and what I mean by making it into a top-down cooker is that the hot air and the smoke is going to rise up to the top of the cooking chamber and then it's going to come back down across and over your meat over on the opposite side so that's much like how an offset cooker operates combine all of that with the summit kamado's ability to hold temperatures steady temperatures for an extremely long time and you really just get the best of all worlds i've said it before in my opinion the summit kamado is one of the most versatile most efficient and just one of the best smoker grills that you can get on the market today. I wanna to thank one of my viewers, Mr. Panthers23. He left a comment to the which is better Weber Summit Kamado versus Hunsaker drum smoker video where he asked me what I thought about getting the low profile slow and sear for the Summit Kamado. I made a video about a year and a half ago called First Look at the Slow and Sear for the Weber Summit Kamado. And it was one of my first times using the Slow and Sear. So I was basically giving my initial impressions about it and its usefulness with the Summit Kamado. And many of you pointed out that that's completely unnecessary. There's no need to use a diffuser plate in conjunction with the slow and sear. It kind of, you know, defeats the purpose, kind of like having, you know, like 
double efficiencies, just totally unnecessary. And that just didn't cross my mind at the time. I just wanted to have something inside of my Summit Kamado to catch the dripping. So I just thought the easiest way to do that would be to just put the pan on top of the diffuser plate. And the guys over at the Adrenaline Barbecue Company who makes the slow and sear, they have another accessory that you can use in conjunction with the slow and sear inside of the Weber Summit Kamado that solves that problem. And it's called the slow and sear drip and roast porcelain grill pan. The pan has many functions as well in addition to just being a nice way to capture those drippings you can use it to roast things and just you know put what you want over on the pan and you can cook it that way and then you could also have it sitting on top of the grill grate as well if you want to use it in that capacity started we're gonna put around 12 briquettes around a lighter cube We'll light the cube and then let these briquettes ash over. And then what we'll do is we'll add about a chimney of unlit coals to the rest of the uh, compartment here that holds all of the briquettes. And then we'll also add some wood chunks as well to give us some smoke flavor. We've put unlit coals on top of the lit coals. So the heat 
and the burning of the coals will continue to burn things from front to back. And then now we're just going to add boiling water to the reservoir. Put our grill grate into place. And we'll let the smoker come up to temperature. Once it's above 225, that's when I'm going to add my baby back ribs. We're gonna get our ribs onto the smoker. I started a timer about 25 minutes ago a little bit after I got everything set up inside of the smoker. So I've got my rib rack. I want to do three slabs of ribs. So I do want to make sure that I have enough real estate in order to get them all in here. And I think the rib rack will solve that issue for me. And basically what I want to do is kind of keep track of how long the coals inside of the slow and sear last so that's really what i set the timer for although i also will be keeping track of time for the ribs themselves and that's a better look of the three racks of ribs on the summit kamado with the slow and sear The ribs have been on the smoker for two hours. The coals have been going for two and a half hours and still have plenty of unlit coals left, especially here on the back end. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but around the area where we see that flame kicking up, there are some coals that have very little ash on them. So they've got a ways to go. So I'll come back and take another look at the ribs. I'm planning on doing once every hour and I'm not planning on doing a wrap. Another hour has gone by, so this should give you a better idea of how our charcoal looks. So now we can see it is definitely mostly ashed over. We've still got a little bit of play. It probably can get maybe another hour at least out of these coals. Hey barbecue family, I forgot to mention earlier that this video is by no way sponsored. I paid for all of the equipment from SNS grills, from Weber, everything in this video I paid for with my own money. My opinions are totally my own, not influenced by any company. I've just always been a big fan of the slow and sear accessory. I bought it for my Weber kettle, and when I got it for my Summit Kamado, I was hopeful that there would be a similar accessory available for it. The Slow and Sear Low Profile Edition fits that bill perfectly. I just love the way that it functions, but again, it's not a must-have accessory. Hopefully this video gave you a little bit more information about how the Slow and Sear accessory functions with the Summit Kamado. If you like the video, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. That helps me out a lot. Also, take a moment, check out the barbecue course that we've developed. It's called How to Become a Backyard Barbecue Pitmaster in One Month. If you or someone that you know wants to level up their skills in barbecue, tell them about the course, have them check it out. Just go to BackyardSmokeMaster.com to get more details. We take you step by step in learning how to 
control the temperature of your grill or smoker when cooking with charcoal. We take you through the steps of making brisket, beef ribs, baby back ribs. There are some cool bonuses like rotisserie chicken. Just a whole lot of great stuff. I'm really proud of the course that we've put together, so I hope that you take a moment to check it out. Let me know your thoughts about the slow and sear accessory. Hey, let me know if there's some other cool accessories out there that you use with your Weber Summit Kamado or that you would like to know more about. Give me some suggestions. I love answering your questions and hearing from you guys. This is Kenyatta Robinson. Thanks for joining me on the Backyard Smokemaster Barbecue channel. Take care, get out there, enjoy your smokers, and I'll see you soon.